ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತೆಯೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುದ್ಧಕಾಂಡ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಾರಣ who had been to the vanara army and having seen the entire army is explaining the details of some of the warriors and the size of the army that is accompanying them and the same disposition he is continuing i shall describe these valiant leaders that you are able to see who are devoted to raghava full of prowess and who count their lives as nothing that one the hairs adhering to those enormous tail or coppery yellow black white and hideously matted and that stands on end a tail that brilliant that brilliant as sun's rays brushes the earth as he advances he is the monkey hara he is followed by hundreds and thousands of monkeys brandishing trees awaiting the moment to attack lanka they are the leaders of the monkey king and in the service of simian government those warriors whom you perceive in such incalculable numbers that are no more able to be counted than the sands of the limitless shores of the sea and who cover the mountains plains and rivers ranged like sombre clouds black as collyrium extremely ferocious and valiant fighters or the bears observe how they are advancing to confront you o king in their midst surrounded on every side by them like paranjaya by storm clouds is their sovereign of dreadful glance and fearful aspect he inhabits rikshavat mountain a very high mountain and goes to shake goes to slake his thirst at the narmada river He is the lord of all the bears and his name is Dhumra he was a brother he has a brother younger than him who resembles him in stature but who far surpasses him in valor behold him Jambavan like unto a mountain of controlled senses he is full of reverence for his spiritual superiors and in implacable in combat his intelligence greatly assisted shukra in the war between the gods and the titans and he was the recipient of many boons these giants hurled down great rocks as large as clouds from the mountain heights which they have scaled nor do they tremble in the face of death shaggy resembling rakshasas or pishachas those warriors those warriors of surpassing energy roam about in great numbers and that commander on whom the eyes of the monkeys are fixed who now leaps up in fury and then stands motionless that foremost of monkeys o king dwells on the sahasraksha mountain and the name of that exceedingly valiant leader is rambha he who walking on all fours force touches the mountain a league away with its with his flanks whose chest is a league in height who is not surpassed by any quadrupled in beauty is the renowned sum sumnadhana the grandfather of the monkeys extremely skillful he formerly entered into combat with chakra on the battlefield who was unable to defeat him such is that superior leader another whose valor equals indra on the battlefield was born of the youthful gandharva maiden and krishna vartam krishna vartam krishna vartaman in the struggle between the devas and asuras he brought help to the celestial that illustrious one sits beneath the jambu trees on that mountain the king of the peak frequented by kinnaras which constantly afford delight to your brother o lord of the titans it is near there that that fortunate one the powerful lord of the monkeys general kritana whose prowess is not confined to words and who ever eschews defeat 
sports. He is standing surrounded by thousands of monkeys. He also undertakes to crush Lanka. The one who usually roams by the Gangas, sowing terror among the elephants, remembering as he does the old quarrel between elephants and monkeys, that leader with a voice of thunder who dwells in the mountain caves, subduing the tuskers in the woods and uprooting the monkeys, uprooting the trees, that prince of monkeys, like unto Indra himself, passes his life happily at the head of a host of monkeys by the river that issues from the Himalayas or Ushirabija, otherwise Mandara, the highest of mountains. Hundreds and thousands of millions of monkeys, proud of their strength and agility, full of prowess and fire, roaring loudly, follow that indomitable warrior, their leader named Pramathi. It is he resembling a great cloud propelled by the wind, whom you have pointed out, surrounding by the furious band of intrepid monkeys, who stir up a cloud of yellow-colored dust, which the wind carries in all directions. Those formidable and powerful black-snouted golangolas, numbering a hundred times a hundred thousand, who, issue, who, having assisted in the construction of the causeway, have gathered rolling round the general of the golangolas named Gavaksha, threatened to demolish Lanka themselves. There were frequented by bees, the trees yield fruits in every season on that mountain encircled by the sun, the brightest of which it equals, the radiance of which shed on bees and birds, lends them the same brilliance, whose plateaus are never forsaken by the magnanimous and great rishis, whose trees are laden with fruit, possessed of every desirable savour, where exceedingly rare honey abounds on that golden and ravishing mountain, the general Kesari lives amid those delights, O King. There are sixty thousand powerful golden mountains in the midst of which Savarni Manu, Savarni Meru stands out as though among the titans, O King. It is on that mountain brown, white, and copper-colored monkeys are those yellow as honey dwell, who possesses pointed teeth and nails and who resemble lions. They are as indomitable as tigers, the equals of Vaishwanara, with their long coiled tails like unto serpents vomiting poison or like elephants intoxicated with ichor as high as great hills, and they roar like thunder, their eyes are grey and round, and when they, they are able, when they are on the march, they create an appalling uproar. All of them stand looking on Lanka as if they were about to destroy it. In their midst is the powerful leader who ever faces the sun. He is eager to conquer you. His name is renowned in the world. It is Shatabali, O King, and he swears to destroy Lanka with his troops. Courageous, powerful, full of daring, he prides himself on his personal valor. In his devotion to Rama, that monkey will not spare his life. Gaja, Gavaksha, Gavaya, Nala, Nila, all those monkeys are surrounded by ten crores of fighters each, as also others leading, other leading monkeys impossible to count. So great is their number, agile inhabitants of the Vindhya range. All, O great king, are exceedingly powerful. Their stature is equal to the high hills, and all are capable of leveling the earth by uprooting and raising the mountains to the ground. Thus come to the end chapter 27 of Yuddhakanda in Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi Kashmira Puramasini Tomaham Prathaye Nityam Vidyadanancha Dehime Goodbye.